Hi all my crafty friends and welcome back to Designs by Gaddis. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. By doing so, you will help others, just like yourself, be able to find my home decor DIY videos. Today I'm making this adorable fabric bunny using a buffalo print bandana I got for 99 cents from Hobby Lobby this past weekend. I had this little bunny cut out that I used as a template. With a black sharpie, I traced the bunny on the back of the fabric. I actually folded the bandana in half before tracing so I would have two bunnies cut just the same. After tracing it, I cut the bunny on the lines that I had traced. And yes, I finally purchased a decent pair of scissors. And I keep reminding myself to use them only on paper and fabric. After I cut the bunny, I have two just the same size. I then put the bunnies together and use pins to hold them in place. And guys, I'm sorry, but for whatever reason, I didn't get the part where I was sewing the bunny with it turned inside out. So I will show you the stitch using this white felt and black string. I sewed the bunny from one foot all the way around to the other foot, leaving the space at the bottom open so I could apply the stuffing. I then started adding the stuffing and used a dowel to get the stuffing up into the ears. After I added the stuffing, I went back around the outside of the bunny to close up any holes. I wanted the bunny to look handmade and rustic. I continued stitching the entire bunny and closed the hole at the bottom. I decided the bunny needed some eyes. I found these two buttons in my stash and sewed them onto the bunny, trying to make sure they were as centered and even as possible. The last thing I did was add a little tail using a Dollar Tree white pom-pom and added a piece of twine around his neck. And look at him, he is so adorable and looks amazing on my spring tier tray. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. I upload weekly home decor DIY videos and you know you don't want to miss any of them. So go ahead and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting!